Hey hey, how's it going? Welcome back, welcome in. Um, oh wow, the game's already showing. I guess that's perfect. Um, yeah, my name's Kurugani K, and let's solve some cases today. Uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to finish this game today at least. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how much is left in the game, but let's just head on in. Um, Alright, let me... You should be able to hear the game right now, and uh, yeah, let's start it. Uh, right, we need to get into the space, right? Yeah, this empty space here. Oh, just realize it's all dark and nobody is around. Where did everybody go? Huh. Okay. So how do we... This must be it. This thing goes all the way up. How are we supposed to get up there? Indeed, how? Hang on. It's pitch black. But I think there's a switch. Oh, okay. I guess let's pull it. Well, <laughs> that was easy enough. Um, yeah. A ladder. Wanna go up? Let's. Ho oh ho! The hidden heart. I see. Wait, how many chapters are there in this? I don't remember now. Wow. This is a little bit creepy. Dragon. Snake. Snake. <laughs> Worm. Oh, huh? maybe. Oh, but it, it has kind of like fins. Sea serpent, maybe. Oh, there are fins here too. So it's fish-like. That's the one. Aisha's a worm. Oh wow, just noticed this. Hey! Isn't this... This reminds me of the... Um... The um, the um, the um, weird animals in uh, Detective Grimoire in the swamp. You know, in any normal room, this thing would be my main concern. In here, though, it barely makes the top three. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. Is that a crab? It's got a translucent exoskeleton. You can actually see its insides. Also, crabs normally have two claws, right? Not three? Oh, good point. Good. More. Oh. Don't you think it looks Oops. familiar? Does it? Oh. Is it Tango Tower? The limbs of the creature can be rotated and the claws can be opened or closed. I guess that's I don't wrong. think we need to guess. What do you mean? We have all the information we need in our case file. Case file? Let me try to... Nothing. I'm oh. sure I've seen this thing somewhere before. Recently too. Hmm? Oh. This crab really reminds me of something. That little wooden toy we found? Yeah, but I don't think that's going to help us. Wooden toy? I think I've seen it more recently. Wooden toy? Let's take a look. Um... Hmm. 
Wooden toy? Oh wait, this. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, so it's. I'll try to remember that. Okay. Is that a it's got yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Uh. Whoops. So it's like that, right? And this is this way. I guess that's wrong. Oh. I don't think we need to get we have all the information we need in our case file. Nothing. This? I'm sure I've seen this thing somewhere. Well, maybe I need it lower. Oh no, it can't huh. Okay. Maybe this is higher than Nope. Wasn't this crab in that book we found? The children's book. Yes, I do know, but I don't remember what's the um. This crab really. That yes, yes, yes. Book. Okay. Let's take a look again. It is straight though. Oh wait, this is a bit shifted up, I guess. Forty-five. Great. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's both open. This is closed. Let's see if I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Close. So let's go that same way. This is open. Like that? Perfect. Perfect. Oh, crossbow. What's this? Something somebody didn't want us to find. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did they use the crossbow to... Drop the... Hmm? There's a real hill also, so maybe the crossbow was rigged up in the attic area, pointing downwards, and just fired? What is it? Was someone trying to hide it? From us? I don't know, but it looks incomplete to me. I want to know what happened to the rest of it. Where are the other parts? We found them already. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe. Ah, uh, yep. This is the real thingy, and this is the uh, metal rod. Yep, there we go. What do you make of it? Not sure. Let's keep an open mind. You don't think the crossbow is a murder weapon? Oh no, the crossbow is definitely the murder weapon. But that doesn't mean we've solved the mystery. Good point. Some kind of fish and a bird skull, I guess? If that's a bird skull... We're talking about a 15-foot bird here. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot of like strange animals here, so I think, um, oh hang on, wait, I didn't say that I'm live, right? On Exter? Yeah, uh, let me, let me go do that right now. Uh, start. Hopefully, you finished the game today. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's sent out and okay. Um, let me get all my windows back in order. And yep, yeah, okay. Well, how about we stop talking about it? <laughs> Those aren't bird cages. Probably not. Some of them are 
disconcertingly large. At least they're all empty. True, true, true. Are you sure that's a good thing? Oh. Are you implying that they are loose down here? Loose? Running loose. Who are all the people in this photo? Not sure, but it looks like someone didn't like them very much. Their eyes have all been crossed out. Oh. Photograph in a study with them is dusty and looks several years old. A brass plaque at the base of the frame reads, The Ambassadors of Mystic Mansion. Wait. Are these the people of the um, secret society thingy that goes around to hunt the cryptids? Hmm, I mean the cryptids in the um, first game. I don't know, but this kind of looks like the, um, what's his name? Felix, right? Oh yeah, it is Felix, I think. Hmm. Oh. That photo is important. I'm sure of it. Five people. Okay. Another photograph. Their faces are all crossed out with some kind of black ink. That's weird. Oh, you think so? Uh, no. <laughs> Something I just realized. Sally, did we meet any of these people here at Tango Tower? Well, the woman on the left looks a little like Poppy, but her style is way different. And at first I thought the guy on the top right was Felix, but now that I look at it, I don't think it is him. Oh, it's not. Huh. Wow, my model is going wild today. Hello, camera. Yours, you seem to be having a lot of problems now. Are you just... Hmm... I don't know. Anyway. Wow. Or oh, is it because I have so many things open that you are struggling? Oh, that could be it. I'll need to go figure out what's going on, I guess. Maybe there's an update for the program that I've missed or something. Anyway. Centipede, millipede. How many legs has it got? Too many. It's a wooden pin board. Yep. Hung up on one of the chains. Uh huh. Looks like there's a couple of things missing from it. Oh, right. Missing this and a torn out something large central sheet four lines have been drawn okay smaller sheet underneath featuring look figure hmm oh why is this cracked Do those look like scratch marks to you on the glass oh scratch marks yeah they're on the inside oh on the inside now that's different I thought this was like a something hit it from the outside. So if it's from the inside, something hit this from the inside. What's hmm? What creature could it be? They called this room a study. What would you call it? The secret death chamber. <laughs> okay. Of doom. Right. An axe and some kind of hunting rifle mounted on the wall. Honestly, doesn't look like they've been moved in a few years. I'm more worried about the third one. Oh, 
Oh, that's the crossbow, I think. The third one? The one that isn't there. Yeah, but we found it, so it's fine. Nice chair. It's still warm. Maybe it's just heat from the incinerator. Hmm, possible. Maybe. Or someone realized that we've we found the uh, secret area and just left. Which means there might be another entrance or exit. Hmm. Coffee table, half empty wine bottle, lamp left on. I'm gonna say someone's been using this room. Yep, yeah, probably. Someone complacent enough to leave their notebook lying around. Oh, let's take a look. Huh. There's a lot of torn pages as well. Uh, fifth ambassador located. Finally, can't say I harbored any optimism, but still somehow disappointed. No better than the rest of them. Took my misted friend into the music room for experiments. It works perhaps too well. The laboratory was another disappointment. All that effort for what? It's even more short-sighted than I could have guessed. Went to the bottom. Nice view. It's been mostly cleaned out, but I have what I need. She got in. She was careful. Nothing was moved, but I know it's time. So somebody... I'm assuming the she is actually Freya. Right. So that's why um, she was killed. To not expose something, I guess. Or is it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Now what's this though? An incinerator built into the wall. Oh, I see. It's pretty hot. Okay. Is there anything left inside? It's mostly ashes, but yeah, there's something. Burning of evidence. Among the ashes are several black buttons. Red colored scraps of fabric are still available. Huh? Somebody burns a coat? Oh wait, isn't this the feather thingy? Hmm. Right? Oh, but I think it doesn't allow me to. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, maybe Someone it does. I don't get it. This room is in the original building plans for the mansion, but nowadays it's some big secret? It's not a secret to everybody. At least one other person still knows about this room. The way the notebook was left out on the table makes me think it's someone who has the room all to themselves. Whoever it was, they left more than just the notebook. There's a whole design project on this pinboard. Feels like someone put quite a bit of effort into it. It's a shame there are things missing from it. I'm betting it'd make more sense if we could see it all together. That might not be impossible, you know. Oh. Wait, do we have? Hmm. And. Do we have the stuff? Uh, notebook? That's definitely the right kind of paper, but none of the pages match up to what's on the pinboard. Um. Oh, this. Hmm... What could this be then? Uh... Can't be the same thing, right? This one? That doesn't seem right. We need something that could attach to the pin board. Attach to the pin board. Damaged photo. 
Maybe. That's not right. Oh, no, Something not right. Something's been taped at the top, with lines drawn on top of it. Hmm. Lines drawn on top of it. Lines drawn on top of it. Lines drawn on top of it. No. Um. Lines drawn on top of it. Do I have it? Oh wait, this. The painting from Freya's room and those sketches. Did Freya design Detective Hawkshaw's clothes? What kind of sense does that make? I don't think that's why Freya made that painting, but it may have been why somebody took a photo of it to use as reference. And as for those sketches of Hawkshaw, I don't think Freya actually drew them. It was somebody else. Someone with less of a talent for art. Doesn't exactly narrow it down. Yeah, true. Should we go ask Detective Hawkshaw about all this? I'm not sure. I still don't know what's really going on. Um, yeah, we don't. The murder. Oh, dun dun dun. Time to solve this. Oh, solving time already. I'm not ready, you know. All right. Break out the notebook. Time to put it all together. Let's start with this. It's an arrow for the crossbow, and it matches Freya's wound. It's the murder weapon. I'm sure of it. Despite the fact it doesn't have any blood on it, and it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene? Mm-hmm. It was cleaned, then it was hidden. I don't think anybody expected us to get down to that room at the bottom of the lake. Okay, so Freya was shot by a crossbow. Where was it fired from? From the top. It was fired from above Freya. Above, huh? Yeah. Our diagram doesn't show everything. Let's add in the rest of the crime scene. The attic. Perfect hiding place. We even found a part of the murder weapon up there. The reel was used to pull the arrow back up through the crack in the floorboards. Explains why we never found a weapon at the crime scene, I guess. The murderer must have dropped the reel in the attic. I'm guessing they were in a hurry to escape. Wait. The arrow was fired through the crack in the floorboards? Yeah. It's directly above where Freya was found lying on her back. Nope. Doesn't add up. It would have missed her if she was still standing up by the painting. Ah, right. Unless... Freya was already lying on her back. Freya was already lying on her back before the arrow was fired. I think so too. Hmm... She'd fallen unconscious. She'd already been killed. Fallen unconscious. Something in the room caused Freya to fall unconscious. Gramophone? Pain fumes. Can't be pain fumes, because she's probably used to them, right? The gramophone. Right. But the gramophone by itself can't do that. Um, it was something in the gramophone. There was something in the gramophone. Mm-hmm. Something small. Something small. Like this. That's not it. Oh. Something small. Paints? Can't be this, right? This is the... That's not it. Yeah, it's not that. It. 
something small. Um. Hmm. That's not it. <laughs> Should I just? That's not it. This? That's not it. Something small. Should I just try and brute force it? That's not it. That's not it. Oh, Pointer golden beetle. Says it can emit an incredibly loud hiss when it feels threatened. Poppy and Fitz both said they heard a loud noise around the time of the murder. Neither of them had any idea what it was. This seems a little far-fetched. Is it ah. really loud enough to knock someone out? No, I don't think so. Not by itself. But don't forget, it was being amplified by the shape of the gramophone. Now, I don't think we're purely talking about volume either. It might just be a particular type of frequency. This is getting kind of scientific. Since when do you know anything about the effects of weaponized audio frequency? I don't, but I think someone else does. Do you remember that statue we found in the music room? The horn it's playing. It's a pretty similar shape to the one on the gramophone. Oh, that, that is true. Isn't there an accident. This is someone's science experiment. Thinking about it, Pointer said he saw Flora was knocked out too. I guess they were both in range of the noise. Although, Pointer might have been lying. Personally, I think he was telling the truth about that. It's pretty clear, a powerful frequency did pass through Flora's tower. Caused quite a bit of damage too. Because of the crack tape. Those cracks didn't appear out of nowhere. Freya's paints, the pink cassette tape, and the gramophone itself. They all sustained similar damage while they were in that room. That's some seriously powerful vibration. Enough to crack metal. Enough to knock someone out all the way across a room. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get. If the frequency was so powerful and had such a big range, how did the murderer pull it off? Wouldn't they have been in range too? Oh. They can't have been much further away from the gramophone than Flora was. The headphones. They protected themselves. How? This, of course. I think I'm solving These it. These are some pretty heavy duty earmuffs. I think they'd be enough to block out the sound. Right. Let's go over everything from the start. One, Freya is painting Flora's portrait. They're listening to music on the gramophone. Two, the murderer is hiding in the attic, wearing earmuffs. Three, the golden beetle starts to emit its hissing noise. Hold on, how did it know? The beetle? Yeah, what triggered it at that particular moment? Pointer's research said it makes the noise when it feels threatened. I'm not sure. Maybe something in the music? Maybe. <clears throat> Four, Freya and Flora are both knocked unconscious by the vibrations. Freya lands on her back. She drops the brush and palette by her side. Five. The murderer fires the crossbow directly downwards. Six. The arrow is pulled back up on the reel. Seven. The murderer leaves the attic. Presumably. Eight. The door is kicked down. Fitz and Poppy enter the room. That's it. So who entered after that? They have got to be the murderer, right? If that's the case, because they needed time to um, move around, move around. Yeah, move around. There's something bothering me. Oh, what is it? What? I just want to check something. Okay. Let's go back to the crime scene. Okay. What do you want to check? Oh. Hmm, there's one more thing that we need to find. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. Ah. 
Francis in a painting. Oh wait, there's another plant. I can see the stars. The plant. It's in the book. What? Look. Oh. If he says the book belongs to Flora, but who hasn't been in the library for a long time. Okay. The answer is in the painting. I'm sure of it. There's supposed to be another plant here, I think. There's, there's two plants? I can see the stars. Nope. I can see the stars. I can see the stars. I can see the stars. The plant, it's in the book. What? Look. This? So what this has to, what 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 does that have to do with? <laughs> I don't know, help. Oh. Okay, I guess this is all like stuff that I found already. It's dark. Yep. I can see the stars. And it's dark. And it's dark. Hmm, what do you need to look again? And it's dark. I can look at the clues. Um, we've got a portrait. Um, then we've got a paints, gramophone, um, tape, mm, wow, I'm not thinking. What are you thinking about? Freya, did you leave us a clue? A clue? Um... Doesn't look like this. Hmm... Oh! Wait, that was the right one? So what's bothering you? Something that's not here. The thing we didn't find. We know she was holding it during the painting. Flora's ink dip feather? It was here. In this room. Where'd it go? Found it somewhere else. It's oh, in the ashes. Oh. Yeah. We were a little too late to save it. So it was stolen from the crime scene. And ended up in the incinerator down in the study. Someone wanted to destroy it, I guess. But how? How was it stolen from up here in Flora's tower? Presumably, Flora dropped it when she fell unconscious. Yeah, and then what? The murderer couldn't have stolen it if they were up in the attic. So the question is, how could they steal something from a room they weren't able to access? The final clue about the crime scene. Freya left it for us right here. What? Unfinished painting? It's in the unfinished painting. It's not quite a photo, but still, it's an image of the crime scene recorded just before the murder. Ah, if only she'd finished it, and then I could be totally sure. It's true she never finished it, but she did intend to finish it. 
meeting. We know more about the painting than what Freya actually got down on the canvas. Um, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. This, I guess. That's not it. Oh. This? That's not it. Know more about the painting. How did Freya show us her intentions for the painting? The sketching? Um, can't be the notebook though, right? Oh, this? No, but these are floor. Oh, drawings of floor. Oh. Mm. That's not it. This? That's not it. Huh. This. Freya prepared all the colors she was going to need before she started painting. Ah, got it. Um. Wait, what? Was added by the murderer. Isn't actually paint. Going to be used was a mistake. The blood was added by the murderer, so... Blood isn't actually paint because... to be used as paint drop by the ink dip bird um. this sketch of something sitting in the window Going to be used to paint it was a mistake by Freya because ripped onto the canvas from black paint, brown and grey paint. brown and grey paint was going to be used to paint the sketch of something sitting in the window. Oh, hi. Thanks for the follow, Julian. Maybe just change one thing. Maybe just change one thing. Brown, black paint, yellow paint. Yellow paint? The yellow paint was going yellow to be paint. used to paint nice. the sketch of something sitting in the window. Something in the window. Oh. Something in the window. Yellow paint. Wait, this? That's not it. No. Uh... Something yellow in the window of Flora's tower. This? That's not it. Whoops. <laughs> uh, something yellow. What's yellow? This? Oh. <gasps> There she is. Our little thief. How long has it been there? Did it hear the whole conversation? She did. Oh. But she's a very good listener. 
What are you doing here? Well now, I think this has quite served its purpose, don't you? Wait. Penny, why huh? Did you... It's Penelope, if you don't mind. But before we begin, isn't there a certain formality demanding our attention? We gotta tie her up. Do we even have the <laughs> rope to tie her up or whatever? Um, what? Oh, real thingy? Lovely. Now, tell me, what was it that drove you this far? I'm ever so curious. Um, I just need to know the I truth. Need to know the truth. Is that right? Interesting. Yep. Why did you do it, Penny? What did Freya do to you? Absolutely nothing. So, what? You just hated her indiscriminately? Freya Fellow was an inspiration to us all. She was possessed of a great energy. The volition to create something from nothing. The willpower to walk beyond her boundaries. She was truly free. Everything I couldn't be. You know what? I just realized I actually have no idea who Penelope Point is. <laughs> Weird, isn't yep, it? Yeah, exactly. Considering we've met her, what is it? three times now exactly how do we know this one isn't a disguise too you think you've already hollowed us out don't you only a few short hours at tangled tower and you feel like you've got everyone sussed unearthed every single one of our secrets well not, not really but points for your notebook go on indulge me what does it say in your notes about Penelope Pointer? Um, I'm gonna say she's lonely. <laughs> Suppose I can't argue with that, can I? Penny, we only know what you choose to tell us, so why not help us out? Very well. Penelope Pointer is actually not very important at all. She pales in comparison to those who came before her, and to those that came after. Living at Tangle Tower, it is very difficult to attain the levels of self-realization you probably take for granted. Um, you sure this is a Tangle Tower thing, and not a you thing? Perhaps you didn't notice. Not one of them is happy, not one. So, why stay? Why not just leave? I thought she did leave. Penny, you said you traveled, didn't you? I did. Many times I've walked away. It did not help me. So you, you came back. Tree hanging in the Grand Hall, did you not? Yeah, it lists a bunch of people who don't live here anymore. A bunch of people who don't live here anymore. I couldn't have put it better myself. My mother, for one. My father, too. The other two Remingtons. Poppy's mother, Primrose. And her brother, Richard. And Fitz's father. That's five. Five people that might have lived here, but don't. And that was the first question I wanted answered. You wanted to know where they'd all gone? More than that. I wanted to know if I belonged with them. No belonged? Not among the fellows, the Remingtons, or the Pointers. But I felt there must be a reason why everyone else left. Some common Oh, okay. Perhaps it could be my purpose, too. So, what did you actually do about it? Nothing I could do, at first. Nobody would tell me anything. The more questions I asked, the fewer answers I got. Then, I found it. I was 19. Same age Freya is now. Found what? 
Hmm, the study, possibly? The study? The one hidden in the middle of the house. It's right next to a bedroom. I'd hear voices at night. Deep ones. And the strangest thing, the wall behind my bed would get incredibly hot. For hours on end, the paint would peel. Wallpaper wouldn't stay up. I thought I was cursed. I thought it was something trying to break through. Eventually, oh. I couldn't take it anymore. I found my way in the same way you did. Once you know it's there, it's simple. So, you got into the study and found the incinerator. That must have been a relief, right? It was still warm when I found it. Then, I looked inside. Wait, what? Let's see how thorough you've been. Tell me, do you know what a misted is? Misted? Misted? Sure, yeah. Misted. Sure, yeah. Hmm. You're more observant than I thought. Sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's a collective term from before my time. Birds, insects, amphibians, anything living off the lake water. The mutation can take several generations, or it can happen overnight. Interesting. Like mistids. Like cryptids. Uh, like Bigfoot or whatever. A little egregious, isn't it? I suspect that was an intentional parallel. The main difference being mistids are perfectly real. They're just kept secret. Or at least, that was the original plan. As it happened, some got out. Quite a few got out. How do you know all this? When I entered the study at 19, I found a single object that rather changed my life. Something which answered my questions while at once creating all new ones. What did you find? This? That's not it. Oh. <laughs> Change all of you. Huh. This? That's not right. Secret research. Oh, maybe it is. The five missing family members standing together as a single unit, calling themselves the ambassadors of a misted mansion. So, the house was renamed from misted mansion to Tango Tower? And rightly so. The age of misted mansion is long past. When I looked inside the incinerator on my first visit to the study, I found nothing but ash. The afterimage of a bygone era denied to me in its entirety. The study, the room at the bottom of the lake, the lake itself, all empty shell. I felt my only hope lay with the ambassadors. If I could find them, maybe, maybe they'd share the family history that Flora and the others were trying so hard to forget. Uh huh. How you okay. Them down? It was tough. They'd taken almost everything. Books, maps, charts, the creatures themselves, all lost, taken away or destroyed. But I got lucky. I got a lead. I found one, and he led me to the rest. And? What happened? Why'd you paint out all their faces? They didn't help you either, did they? Nineteen-year-old me had imagined they'd all left with a mission. A unified purpose. But they hadn't. They were, in fact, every bit as fractured as the people that still live here. I Most see. Some had left tracking escaped mystics. Some claimed to be researchers, others little more than hunters. All five completely useless to me. Wow, Even okay. Young parents? Eventually, I returned to Tangle Tower. I had nowhere else to go. I considered giving up. But instead, I made a decision. So, the rest thing that you've left, but you came back. Are they aware that you're dressed up as Hawkshaw? Um, the, this, this person's history is a bit um, confusing to me. There was only 
only one person at Tangle Tower still of interest to me. My dear Uncle Pointer had suddenly made a show of taking up astronomy. A fairly superficial charade, I don't think many people were fooled by it. But I knew it wasn't just a falsehood, it was a mask. Pointer had found something, something from the era in this dimension. I see. It's gotta be the beetle then, right? So where did he get the beetle? I cannot be sure. But I theorized that he received it in the post. In the post? In the post? Who can say? Someone outside Tangle Tower. But the thought that he would be in contact with such a person. All that time, I decided to take what was owed to me. So you stole it. Stealing the beetle turned out to be only the first step. Upon realizing it was gone, Pointer made little effort to disguise his frustration. I asked what was bothering him. He foresaw no risk in sharing a little of the truth with his niece. He told me he'd lost a rare treasure, something he'd been keeping safe. I suggested, innocently, that perhaps it was not lost. Perhaps it had been stolen. He was very ready to believe he'd been the victim of theft. When I offered to call in a private detective, he jumped on the idea. Oh. He arrived the next day. Hawkshaw prides herself on a punctuality, as you know. Why, though? Why go through all that? Yeah. The name, the costume, and everything? It's somewhat sad to admit, but I had a little use left for Penny Pointer as she was. Hawkshaw afforded me new advantages, opportunities. But didn't you have to pretend to be working for Professor Pointer? Ah, well, that was one of the advantages. Pointer was in such a desperate state, he was finally willing to share some of his secrets. <laughs> I case, see, okay. Hawkshaw explained she needed to be able to search the secret laboratory. Pointer gave in, and gave me the code for the harp statue. Reluctantly, but still. So, you stole Pointer's research? I would have done, if I'd found anything worth stealing. But he had made remarkably little progress, barely scratching the surface of the beetle's true mystery. Which is? Ha! <laughs> it carries an exoskeleton approximately 90% identical to gold. But it's not the 90% I'm interested in. Did you ever question what exactly makes the water here so unique? Before Misted Mansion was built over the lake. Before the lake was even a lake. Lord Remington and his wife built a small structure here. A research station, supposedly. Fast forward two or three generations, and as you saw for yourself, it's been mostly cleared out. The ambassadors took everything when they left. And everything they didn't take was burned in the incinerator. Uh -huh. However, possessing additional insight, I found something the others had missed. It's not much, but I have what I need. What is the so, pre do tell? Is the end of the story. Why did you stay? Why did you kill Freya? Oh, -ho. okay. The Wheel of Freya Fellow. Interesting. What? Oh, I guess I click her again. Yep, all right. Well, let me know. Simply put. Freya was too good for me. It's my fault. Oh, good. I pushed her over the edge. Unknowingly, but still, I take the blame. What are you talking about? Did you know I based the design for Hawkshaw on something Freya painted? Right, it's the, um, thingy, right? That's right. I had assumed it was purely abstract. I just thought it had a good energy. I later discovered was a figure of some kind, something from Freya's recurring nightmare. For all her vitality, I think Freya was probably the most troubled of all of us. She was desperate to leave Tangle Tower, but she couldn't just walk away. For quite some time, she'd been trying to break into Pointer's laboratory. Freya and her friends were halfway through deciphering those symbols on the harp statue, I believe. Why did she care about getting into Pointer's lab? That's exactly what I wondered. At first, I thought perhaps she just wanted to free the beetles. She has a fondness for them. 
what Pointer was doing upset her significantly. But in fact, I think it was something else. I think she wanted to free Fiona. Fiona? The real reason Freya was unable to leave Tangle Tower is that she could not get Fiona to agree to come with her. Oh. We're now firmly in the realm of speculation, but I think... Freya felt that exposing the darker secrets of Tangle Tower, not just to the rest of the family, but to the world, would compromise all three families. And perhaps, somehow, free Fiona from the shackles of her inheritance. That was her plan anyway, but something happened before Freya could find her way into Pointer's laboratory. She found her way into your study found your notes, found that photograph. I'm willing to bet she put it all together quicker than we did. So she worked out what had happened to the five ambassadors. Specifically, what you'd done to them when they refused to help you. Oh, she, she killed him. Promise to paint Flora as a birthday gift, a parting gift no less. She'd be in a locked room, several hours away from her friends was my best chance but why hide in the attic and why bother with the beetle at all the beetle in the gramophone wasn't for freya it was for flora she didn't deserve to be involved she suffered enough i couldn't get flora out of her room but if she could be unconscious then she wouldn't have to witness anything wow okay like a knife the illusion of the painted knife with the blood. That was for Fiona. And Poppy too, I suppose. Gave them something to focus on. You mean it distracted them while you made your escape? It helped them cope. The very idea of something abstract. Something supernatural. I believe it made things marginally less painful for them. Initially. Hmm. Okay. It worked on you too. So why are you still here? Why not take your first chance and leave? Ah, well, I've been waiting for an opportunity to get my beetle back. I'd really rather not leave without it. Wait, it's still here? It's still inside the gramophone. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Are we gonna get knocked out? I see. Wow, okay. That's some turn of events. What's going on? Poppy, they are both awake. Yep. I can see. You two alright? My head hurts. What happened to us? You were both unconscious. 14 minutes by my count. Really? You're both fine. No injuries. Was it the beetle? In the gramophone? I heard it through the ceiling in my room. The exact same sound we heard before the murder. I guess it must have been. So how did we get down here? What happened to Penny? It saved both of you, obviously. When I reached Why, thank you. tower, you were both unconscious. And Penny was crouched down beside you. She had her crossbow on her. But who knows? She may have just been checking you were both asleep. Did you know she, uh, that she was the murderer? Poppy and Fifi suspected her. Apparently, they were pretty close to solving it themselves. Fitz did not want to believe us. Because he liked Penny. A lot. But what happened? Fitz, what did she do when she saw you? She jumped out the window. What? Did she survive? She did. I heard something land in the garden outside my room. But by the time I got out there to check, she was already gone. Hang on. Poppy, why do you have Penny's hat bird? She left him behind. I found him sitting on the floor in the aviary, all by himself. Poor Oh, mouth. Penny, I the see. The lady didn't care about you at all, did she? No, she didn't. I apologize. Poppy seems to be under the illusion that the bird can understand human language. 
So, Penny got away. I'm afraid she did. We had suspected she might try to escape. I was stationed here by the lake's edge. I proved to be an ineffective guard. She took the boat. Did she take the beetle with her? Nope. How do you know? Because it's right here. It was still in the gramophone. I guess I scared her off before she had a chance to take it. Poppy, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to give it back to your father? No, I'm not. It doesn't belong to anyone. So, True. I'm going to put it on the ground and never bother it again. I think that's Ooh. what she would have wanted. Freya, right? Yeah. Huh? That's the end of this story? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, wow. Um, right. So Detective Grimoire's ending was confusing and this one it's apparently as confusing too. Well I say confusing but it does have a kind of ending as to who the murderer was but like we don't really we didn't really catch catch her and yeah I I don't know it's been a fun game though. Um, like, I've had fun trying to solve it all. Oh, it's flying away. You're free now, buddy! Is it ending? Oh, it is ending. Wow, okay. Huh, I- okay. Penny. Yeah, I see. She looks so different that I didn't recognize it was her, you know? Ooh, multiple birds about her person. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, and- Oh, right. I did suspect it was Penny as well because um, she was acting jealous about Fitz. Oh no, wait, but it's. But it's between Fitz and um, what's her name? Poppy, right? That they were close. I just noticed the logo. It's actually Flora and the Feather. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun, like, solving, trying to solve the, um, uh, mystery. And, like, it's, there, there wasn't any help at all. Like, the tips, the hints were, like, um, talk to them a bit more or explore the room a bit more. It didn't exactly tell you what exactly you need to explore or what exactly you need to ask. So that was a bit, um, I guess, difficult for me in a sense because mainly because I've not, I've only been playing this once a week. So there's a lot of days in between that. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what I was supposed to do. But other than that, it's been really, f the puzzles have been quite fun. Oh, except the treasure map one. That one was confusing. <laughs> That's the one that I had most trouble with. Um, yeah, like, I guess, I guess it's just a fun little game. Little game? Well, yeah, little game, I guess. I wonder if they're gonna make a sequel though. Um, like, to catch her or something. Then again, I don't know. It seems to be, yeah, maybe it's the, the way the de developers like to end their, end their games a bit open-ended in a way. I don't know, not sure, but yeah. <laughs> I've enjoyed it so far. Um, let's see. Um, and yeah. 
Have a testic day. Just sorry about all the scuff today as well. Yeah, I'm just not with it. Yeah. Anyway. Bye.